In this video, we will look at how you can add custom .NET code into a Kentico Portal Engine based page. As a .NET application, Kentico offers a variety of ways to extend the look and feel of your website. Fundamentally, there are two basic ways to customize the user display of your website. In this video, we will look at how you can add standard ASCX web user controls to your Kentico site. The other method that we will look at in another video is creating a Kentico based web part. Standard ASCX user controls are the easiest way to insert custom code into your portal engine based page. For our demonstration today, we will create a simple ASCX user control that displays the time and then we will insert that into our home page. As you can see, I have the Kentico CMS website project open using the web project solution. To add the user control, we're going to right click on the solution explorer, select add new item, select web user control, and we're going to call we're going to call this get time .ascx. We're going to go ahead and add this in. Now that we've added our user control into our project, let's go ahead and add the display and a little bit of code behind it. Probably the easiest way is to start in design mode. For what we want to add, I'm going to go ahead and create a label and I'm going to create a button. And within our button, I'm going to go ahead and add some code that's going to display the user time. Label one dot text equals date time dot now dot to string. And now that I've added in our code, let's go ahead and run our application. To add our user control, we want to do this through the CMS Desk application. And within the CMS Desk application, we want to add our web part to our home page. We can do this because it's a portal engine page by selecting the Design tab. And we're going to add this to our zone left. I'm going to add a web part. And custom controls are added through the general user control. When I select general user control within our properties I can select the user virtual path. Because I've saved my getTime.ASCX to my root folder I can add the tilde and then from here I just need to specify what my user control is and when this renders it's going to pull this in from my web directory. So I'm going to apply these out. I'm going to hit OK. And you'll see that it's just added the user control to the zone left. Now let's go ahead and see what this looks like on our live site. If I select our button, you can see that it's going to render the current date and time. This concludes our demonstration of how you can add a standard ASCX user control into your Kentico Portal Engine page. As you can see, it's a very simple process to do.